Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ryan here again from uh, GFX Book. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to grunge out your teeth. I've seen lots of tutorials on how to whiten your teeth, and well, I figured it might as well be different here and show you how to grunge out your teeth. You can always also use this effect for like on bones and skulls and grunge work and stuff like that. So, first off, you want to find your stock photo here. I found this off a stock photo site, and uh, you want to use your lasso tool, and you simply just want to go around the mouth on the inside. You want to make sure you have a 3px feather though on your lasso tool because this lets you go on the inside of the mouth just a little bit. It gives a little bit of leeway to work with. So you simply just go around the mouth and make that selection. After you get that, control C, control V to paste it into a new layer. And we go to image adjustment curves. Bring that down other one down just a little bit. Now as you get that, you can duplicate the layer again. And this time I'm going to press Ctrl U. It's going to pull up the hue slash saturation. And you simply just color it out a bit. Bring the saturation up a bit. Orange in, dark in. And what I find what works best here is linear burn. As you see that it already adds all the extra grunge, it saves us a lot of time here. So now we make a new layer, and right now what we're going to need to use is the brush tool. We have black as our foreground. We simply just want to go around the teeth. Once you, it doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> the little boxer puppies whining. Right, so you just go around the teeth. And then for this effect, what we're going to set this blending mode to overlay. As you see, that blends into the teeth, but it still reveals that 1px line. But it's alright, we'll get rid of that here in a bit. So you simply just want to keep going around, making new layers. I'm going to make a lasso tool here. And I'm going to make a selection around the tooth, because this is where we're going to add a big stain or make it look like the tooth is about to chip but before you do that you want to make sure your feather is set to 0px when you're doing this uh, step here make it a little bit jagged because not every stain is perfect alrighty so there's my selection, I'm going to fill this in with a darker brown simply just fill that in with the paint bucket tool and here you can set that to overlay too and I just see that adds a nice good stain there it's an amazing stain and what we can do here is simply make another lasso tool selection here and we'll just chip this tooth out a bit make it all chipped out or just darken it a bit too so with the black here fill this in with black As you see that blends in that little uh, makes the tooth like it's uh, a little bit haggard. You will set that to overlay too though, so it looks like it's rotting out. So we'll leave it like that. So yeah, you go on make another layer here. This time you can use your paintbrush tool and find one of these. Uh, these are the stock brushes that come with Photoshop. And you simply just find a brush tool that would look decent if you were to go over. You want it to splatter around. You don't want it to make streaks on you. So yeah, you just go around and you want to click around, set this to brown, overlay. You just click around and grunge out the rest of the teeth here. Dark it in on the insides. It's looking pretty good there, so I add a new layer. You can name your layers, I'm just not ready at the moment because it takes up time on my video here. So I'm going to make another stain here. And 
use that same brown again with the overlay. But this time I'm going to make a like a little black line in the middle. This looks like the tooth is about to chip off. We got my selection there. Put the black in. Oh wait. Make sure you're on a new layer. Put the black in. Let me try to say that to the overlay. And as you see that adds that nice little haggardness right there. You can also brush it out a bit if you think it's sticking out too much. Make the perfect lines. Brush it out. And there you go. That's pretty much coming together right there. Make another new layer, and what we're going to do here is just simply paint in all this other area of the teeth. But what we're going to do is grunge the teeth out first with the black. So you simply just go around, click around, and you want to add a black layer over top of all this. So you want to be on your paintbrush tool. You simply just want to get rid of those lines now and start chipping these teeth out because if your teeth are looking like this they're not going to be straight there's no way your teeth are going to be really haggard and I'm going to feel very sorry for you actually no I wouldn't because it's something that you can actually fix doing yourself if you just brushed your teeth but you know some people are very lazy like that simply just get rid of those lines get those teeth just looking haggard, man. Put the bottom teeth down here. You can drag the brush, but I find just clicking around gets the best unique look. Because if you just drag it, it makes it too blurry and the brush doesn't want to always work with you correctly. So we'll even paint that down there a bit. So as you see, those teeth are looking very, very, very bad, man. So we can make a new layer here and what you want to do is pretty much fill in the blackness now because if your teeth are this dark there's no way that they're going to shine in and reflect light. So your mouth is going to look black even if you're just smiling like this much right here. But as you see you can even bring in the sides because the teeth won't be joining together anymore. They'll be starting to fall off from each other. You can make a new layer now. Well actually you can go back and duplicate this layer. You can even play around with it, you can bring it up a bit. And set the blending mode to overlay. Or even multiply or whatever you want. You just play around. Uh, you just use all the features that Photoshop gives you to come out with the final effect that you really enjoy. So I'm going to go back to filling in all this uh, area with black. Simply just gonna go. I'm pretty far away from my monitor right now, so I can't exactly see the full effect here. If I'm missing any red from the original pick, or so I'm just going with what I can see at the moment. I do got a 32 inch monitor, but it doesn't always grant me amazing quality when looking at it from a far distance. And as you see here, gum line, the gums are not going to be, well, they might be as red as they are right now, but they're going to be starting to turn black because these teeth are very unhealthy. So what you want to do is go back and select that little brush here. I think this brush is, this is the Chalk 11, 11 pixel brush. This is the stock brush with Photoshop. And what I'm going to do here is just simply just color in these gums a little bit. darken them in you can adjust your uh, brush shape all the angle of it so we go to windows brushes you switch the angle of it the other teeth over here coming down. Alrighty, 
Okay, so that looks good right there. And I'm simply going to put this to overlay. And I just see that as that little grungy darkness feel to it. You can always try like multiply. As you see, that's too dark. You can linear burn, too dark. So I'm going to go with overlay. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you turn your teeth all grungy from something that would look like, well, if, if we were to merge all these layers and go like this, go from that to this. Well, hopefully that thing, hopefully this uh, tooth disease doesn't happen overnight, but it can happen within 10 minutes on Photoshop. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorials. Uh, don't forget to rate five stars and subscribe for plenty more tutorials. Take care.